All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Vision Bus, how to install Vision Bus, and how to run the Legacinator tool made by the creator to disable the automatic update feature because Vision Bus is being um, retired and then later replaced due to a conflict over its name. So to get started, let's go ahead and remove Vision Bus. All you have to do is go to your Windows settings, go to Apps and Features, and then go and search up Vig or Vision Bus, and it uninstalls just like any other program from your computer. Just find it, click it, hit uninstall, and then bing, bang, boom, after a moment, it should do the stuff with the things. So on my computer, it, it may have given you a black screen there for a sec as it asked for uh, admin permission to uninstall, but now it's uninstalled and gone. And that's all you got to do if you want to remove this. Now, some people might be starting to get pop-ups to run the Legacinator app for their Vision Bus. Just go ahead and do that. Long story short, the creator in this end of life statement here figured out that they actually have a infrin accidental infringement with a company that uses the name Vigium. Uh, so they ran afoul of that trademark. So to comply with that, Vigium Bus, which needs a rewrite anyway, is been officially retired. And now to make sure that it doesn't try to update from a domain that the creator doesn't control anymore, they have this lovely Legacinator tool. So basically what that means is until they update the installer to remove the auto updater tool entirely, you have to run that to remove it separately. So I've got a download link to this download in the video description below, but basically it takes you to nefarious software solutions, GitHub, and then it takes you to the latest download of Vision Bus, which was from last year around August 30th. And then you just click and download it, which I have already done. In fact, let me go ahead and open that here. And so to install Vision Bus, all you have to do is download it and also download Legacinator. I'll put the download to that link as well. And then once you've got these first run Vision Bus's installer, because that's what you need if you want to do a lot of game controller emulation on your computer, especially if you're running DS4 Windows or similar programs. Uh, just agree to the terms and conditions. Go ahead and install that bad boy. It'll probably black screen on you while I give it uh, admin permission. And then the installation only takes a moment, and then it's all done. It just kind of runs in the background, and other programs use it as an API in order to emulate other controllers. Most specifically, it allows you to pretend that you're running an Xbox 360 controller. Now... That's going to try to auto-update from the vigium.org domain, which is no longer in control of, by the developer, and probably will go away eventually. So to keep the app from trying to auto-update until they remove the auto-updater from the app entirely before you even install it, you got to run this Legacinator program. So I'm going to give it permission to do its thing. It'll pop up the logo from the creator. And now it's going to detect if uh, I have it on my computer, which I do. I just installed Vision Bus. So to remove the auto updater, all I have to do is click on this bomb. And then it automatically does the thing for me. And then you can close it and you're ready to use Vision Bus without any problems moving forward. Uh, I have an understanding that the creator is thinking about running Legacinator so that it just does its thing automatically and you don't have to click on anything. Uh, that's still incoming for right now this is what you have to do to install vision bus and not have it be weird and hiccupy so that's it for this one ladies and gentlemen i've been your host larry don't forget to like and subscribe this has been how to remove vision bus how to install vision bus and how to run the legacinator to remove the auto updating feature so i hope you found that helpful i've been your host larry don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye everybody and have a good one